Great teams use HubSpot, and they also use LinkedIn Sales Navigator. But what happens when your sales teams combine these two tools? They get superpowers. Okay, not literally superpowers, but it'll sure feel like it. Integrating the two systems will make them both significantly better and stronger with your data being brought to life with insights. It's enriched and tailored for your CRM and automation. Let's check it out. On Sales Hub Professional, you can integrate LinkedIn Sales Navigator, which is a powerful tool for sales reps to build pipeline and stay close to their leads. First, we can start by looking at company records. We'll go to CRM Companies and... How convenient, HubSpot's listed. Now in the company records, you can see the information that you would typically find in a portal. But if you scroll down here, you'll also see HubSpot's in Sales Navigator. So let's go ahead and save it to Sales Navigator. I'll make it one of my accounts. And now I'll be able to get more information on it. First, we'll look at recommended leads. Here you can see everybody who it says you should probably reach out to. And you can even look at what connections you have that work there. We can even go to news. Here you can see all the news that's been shared about HubSpot. And not just by HubSpot, but any company on LinkedIn. By clicking into Sales Navigator, now we can do a deep dive on the company. But let's go further and look at individuals. So now we're looking at a contact record in HubSpot. You'll find a lot of information about a lead in here, but also you'll see it's supplemented by the Sales Navigator card. Here I can see information about them. If I wanted to, I could send Mark an email directly from HubSpot, and it'll even log the contact to the CRM. But instead of doing some canned message that'll probably get ignored, we can view more about the lead and personalize the experience. You can see this looks a little different than the company record. Here you can see icebreakers, so ways that I can introduce myself, or I can click on the Get Introduced tab and find someone who knows us. And keep in mind, this isn't just a good idea. LinkedIn has data proving that a warm introduction leads to a 50% higher success rate when it comes to securing a meeting with our customers. And before I reach out to Mark, I just want to take a quick peek and see if there's anyone else that might be a better fit for me to talk to. I would reach Darmesh, but you know, super busy guy. So back to the contact record. Now that I know a little bit more about Mark, I can send him an email directly from our client. Personally, I know that Mark is a huge fan of home automation and I can send them whatever message I'd like. And once I've typed out my message, I can even log it into the CRM. So this way we'll know who's talked to who about what, and we won't be stepping on any toes. Now remember, as a wise uncle once said, with great power comes great responsibility. Don't just add people willy-nilly to the CRM, and don't just reach out to everyone because you have more bandwidth. Use this time to make better, more meaningful connections with Sales Navigator connected to your CRM. You can rest assured that everything you're doing tracks back to HubSpot, from connection requests to email. It also automatically allows you to log activities on the respective contact timelines, a huge time saver. And it makes reporting and data quality a non-issue. If you have Sales Hub Professional and Sales Navigator, make sure you go down and click the link so you can see how to connect them for free. But that's it for me, everybody. Hope to talk to you soon. But until then, take it easy.